Coach, congratulations on doing it again here at Chapin. Uh, this is the third consecutive state title on this team's run, and you've won an amazing 11 out of 14 since coming uh, coming over here. And just tell me uh, a little bit about what has been the key to such sustained success here. Well, I think, I mean, there's been a lot of things. Um, we have very good support here from the administration and the athletic department. Um, the students are great. The kids are great. Um, I think at first it was, you know, you have to, it takes a while to build a program. And, um, you know, the very back in the beginning, you know, back in 02, and there was not, we didn't have mats, we were on the football field. Um, and then it, I just started to develop the program. And mm -hmm. I think the, the biggest thing in the very beginning was the work ethic because there was none. Um, they practiced a couple days a week, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, so we started building that and um, every year just kind of raising the bar, raising the bar, raising the bar. And, um, you know, I, I've been doing this 20 years and so I, I really make sure that, that we have, we went on paper first Mm -hmm. and then we put it on the mat and so um, that's kind of the key to it you know you have to establish your work ethic you have mm -hmm. to get the relationships with the kids and make them believe in, in what you're doing and believe in themselves and like Blaine said um, it, and Caitlin both said this year was tough in that you know we had this um, we lost these kids that were physically strong and we got a, a lot of young kids this mm -hmm. year. They're in high school but they're still young, you know, they're freshmen. Mm -hmm. I think we have 13 freshmen. <laughs> yeah, wow. I was like, whoa. And um, so I set them down and I said, you know, there's only one way we're going to be able to pull this off and that's from the heart. Mm -hmm. And um, because we did not have that physical strength of those girls that were, that graduated. And so we started working really, really hard. Um, lots of long practices um, every day of the week. Um, and, and until I convinced them that it had to come from within. Mm -hmm. And they did great. I mean, they were amazing. And they, they proved to everybody. We always have this thing about you have to prove to those that have come before you that mm -hmm. you, you know, what shape and varsity means to cheer competitively. So. Blaine and Caitlin, your two co-captains, if you would just say, say a few words about them and, and what made them special uh, in addition to the fact that obviously they were great performers, uh, obviously they were great leaders as well, huh? Right. They were super girls. Um, all, we had four seniors and they're all just really sweet kids, good, good kids. And, um, Kayla and Blaine did a great job, and it was hard because, you know, it's hard being captain because you don't want to, you know, be aggressive, but you want to be, you know, supportive and positive, and they did a great job with that. I was really proud of them. So. With, without, I know that very little time has passed since you won this last one, but um, just what would you think you will remember this particular edition of this state champion, you know, this state championship team. What what do you think you'll remember them most by? What what kind of jumps out about them that gives them their own personality? I think their um, their tumbling was amazing. Um, we had nine fulls, I think. I can't remember how many we had. Um, they were they and these kids never complained. Like I'm sure they went home and said. I hate this. I'm never coming back. I can't do this. My legs are killing me. My feet are about to fall off. Mm -hmm. but they never complained. And um, they just stayed focused on winning that state title. And um, and I think a lot of the teams around the state admire Chapin for that continuous ability to prove themselves. And, you know, we really don't have any enemies. I mean, even in, in you know, from moving from 3A to 4A, we're mm -hmm. still friends with everybody. We support everybody. We cheer for everybody. Um, and that can show on the map. You know, you want to be supportive of the other people in your mm -hmm. division. And um, But this team was, I mean, there was something else. And, and if you think, you know, we're only losing four seniors. Like yesterday, we were talking about we're ready to start working again. And um, the kids are fixing to go to the ACC championship game next Saturday in Orlando to participate in the pregame show. 
So yesterday we practiced for the pregame show, but they're really excited about that. Oh, so that is so neat. Fun. Yeah, go Clemson. <laughs> wow. Now, did they did they only get to do that because they won, or had they already um, been selected they, to go? Um, we went to camp at Auburn, and um, it's a UCA camp. They get we go to camps all over every summer. We go to a different one, and um, they won um, the this championship thing there anyway. And so we were asked if we wanted to go. And um, so I said, yeah, we'll go. Sure, so I sure. think they're really excited about it. It's going to be fun. Well, Coach Vicki Williams, an amazing job you've done. I mean, you really have built a dynasty here. Keep up the good work. And I tell you what, with a 13 freshman returning yeah, it's pretty and, and, and losing only four seniors, uh, we know who the odds on favorite will be to win another one you next year. You never know. You never know. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.